hello everyone welcome back to the channel i wanted to share something with you guys that was uh, put out um for adam fox for those of you who aren't familiar adam fox uh, was um the gentleman that was living in the basement of the vacuum repair shop that was uh, entrapped and framed by the fbi as the so-called ringleader in their fake governor whitmer fed napping case and so he is currently wrongfully convicted and in prison, currently appealing that conviction, but right now he's being held at Florence Supermax, um, very uh, high max prison. And so, as you can imagine, it's not the best of conditions there. Uh, moreover, the financial burden on the families is immense. I can tell you right now, phone calls, it's $5 for a 15 minute phone call. Um, it's $12 for a tube of toothpaste, and you have to purchase it through the uh, prison, through their commissary. Um, it's just very expensive to get very basic things for him. He also, his family has to pay his restitution each month. Um, where he's at in Supermax, unlike at um, federal prisons or some of the other lower medium level prisons, they're able to work. Um, these guys are basically held in 23-hour-a-day isolation, like confinement. So they're not able to work to earn money so that they can contribute to paying their restitution. So they're taking money out of his commissary each month for his restitution. And uh, his family basically has to pay that so he is able to use his commissary funds for, you know, he, there, these cells are freezing. It's winter time coming up and, um, he doesn't have a winter jacket. The shoes he ha they don't give them proper shoes. They don't give them, uh, blankets. They don't give them these basic necessities that you would think would be provided to them in these facilities because taxpayer dollars are going to this. None of that stuff is provided and all of those costs are being offset onto the families. Okay, that's what's happening. And it's interesting because I recently attended the Bureau of Prisons Oversight hearing in Washington, D.C. As you guys know, that was just a few weeks ago. I did a video on that uh, on the channel. You can watch that to get my thoughts on it. But Director Peters, uh, Colleen Peters, testified and she talked about the how much taxpayer dollars are um, allocated like to the prison for each prisoner. And it's essentially something along the lines of the U.S. taxpayer is paying like $120 to $130 a day to house each prisoner. And so you should be asking yourself, where is all this money going then? Because the prisoners aren't seeing any of it. And so um, just to share some pictures of Adam, for those of you who don't know who he is, uh, what the media shows of him is basically his mug shots. They don't show you pictures of him with his family. This is him with his sister, Gabby. That's him and his mother, uh, Christina. This is actually Florence Supermax. I wanted to show you guys how imposing and horrific the facility itself looks where both Adam and Barry are currently housed. Um, and so, yes, uh, that's Adam with his dog, Bruno. Bruno, who passed away. It's very sad. Uh, Barry is now at Florence Supermax as well. Um, and so I wanted to share this with you guys. This is something that was put together by Adam's sister, Gabby, for him. She made a give, send, go. I will include, of course, the link in the video description. It's called uh, Offering Adam Fox a Very Merry Christmas. Um, uh, she writes here over the last three years, our lives have changed forever. In October 2020, my older brother Adam was wrongfully arrested and federally charged with conspiracy to KNK the governor of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer, a few months later. Um, these other additional enhancements were added, creating the possibility of life in prison if convicted. In April 2022, Adam's trial resulted in a hung jury and a mistrial. Two of the other defendants were found not guilty, and one other defendant also resulted in a hung jury and mistrial. It's Barry Croft. The jury saw through the government's lies, and the government rightfully received zero convictions at that first trial. 
Because our government thrives on sending innocent human beings to prison and ruining their lives, they were granted a retrial. Yeah, you get a do-over, do right? How interesting for them. Fast forward to August of 2022. Due to a highly corrupt trial and biased judge, Adam and his co-defendant were found guilty on both charges. In December 2022, Adam faced a life sentence, but thankfully was sentenced to 16 years, which is still one day wrongfully in prison is a day too many we were hopeful he would be sent to a low-key federal prison because he's a non-violent man with no criminal history whatsoever and especially no violent history but quickly learned he'd be serving his time at the adx florence aka the alcatraz of the rockies prison one of the most awful and isolated prisons in america we learned adam had been transferred to florence high prison in colorado where he was held in the shoe for over six months due to quote unquote processing issues Florence High was quite a difficult and dangerous experience for him. He officially was moved to the ADX facility a few months ago. With this being his first Christmas he is spending in federal prison, I would like to provide him with items he can purchase from commissary to make his holiday season a little brighter and more comfortable. Any money donated will go directly to his account so he can purchase any items he wants and needs and also will be used to purchase him books. We can have... Um, he can have on his quote unquote property. During these difficult years, Adam has received so much love and support and our family is truly forever grateful to everyone who has fought for the truth to come out. I know one day my brother will be home with us and we will continue to fight until he's back with us. In the meantime, we are always so unbelievably thankful for the love, support, and prayers. Uh, his sister set that up so um, myself and my family, we will be uh, donating to that and I encourage you guys to do so if you're able to I know times are tough for everybody right now um, even if you can do it as little as you know two dollars three dollars I know it sounds silly to say that and you you might assume that that isn't going to be meaningful to somebody so why bother that actually could be because if enough of you guys do that that could be enough to have him have a, a you know be able to have a little Maybe he can get a blanket, maybe he can get himself a winter coat and some nice winter boots to make it more comfortable for him there. Maybe he can get some, maybe he can have a snack and actually have a decent Christmas dinner, although, you know, it's not going to be a home-cooked meal at home with his family where he should be. Remember that this is, you know, this is an innocent person who's in here, um, and it's very tragic and very sad. Uh, I, If I could, I would, um, if there was one for Barry that I could share, I would share that as well. As far as I know, his family has not made um, a gives and go for his commissary for the holidays. There was also, the last I heard, um, they had been, I don't know why this was, but his commissary had been overdrawn over $2,000. And um, I, I don't know if I'm able to look into it more because I don't know how much information I'm able to get from them on my own like asking about stuff like this like why is his why is his commissary being drained uh why is it overdrawn how much is being taken out each month because they're not supposed to be charging them over a certain amount in restitution fines each month so like how is it this overdrawn where and so if you it may be a situation where if we put money into his commissary he's not going to get it anyways so i need to find out what's going on with that um but last I heard, he'd been moved from Terre Haute to um, ADX Florence as well. So he's now in the same place as Adam, which I found surprising. I don't really, they never said why they moved him to begin with or why they put these guys in these Supermax facilities anyways. Um, but so that's the latest. Uh, it is the holidays. If people can help out, I'm sure these families would greatly appreciate it. And I would appreciate it as well. Um, and that's it for now. Bye.